All right, people, you asked for it, you got it. MS-DOS porn games. This is normally where I would do the intro that the analytics tell me that people click off the video before I'm done doing. Maybe the rant Sona scares them off. But I can't bring myself to do one for this video, so let's just get this over with. And let me go on record saying I hate you all for making me play these. Virgin Games, yeah, I believe that. We're gonna get Probe, too. Fias, the soft floppy one? What? We've got balls! Yes, this guy has got got like hyper balls going on and he's like rubbing wax on them what and this guy's face looks like an ass i think that's on purpose section three ball bouncing so what you're supposed to do here is bounce on your balls and see how high you can get but i can't figure out the control oh it's already game over okay the timer wasn't even done counting down oh yeah the butt face was on purpose his face his ass what's the difference so you have to hit these bricks that are coming at you but you got a shitload of input lag on the arrow keys what Wait a minute, wait a minute. I hit one and my score went up and I hit another one and my score went down. What? You got zero tokens so so biff away? Why? I don't understand this game. When you're feeling thirsty, pour yourself a large glass of lemonade or water, then drink it. Now you see, now this is the kind of loading tips we need right here. Now you and the hyper balls man are having a race and he's having to like hold his balls up so they won't be dragging the ground. Well, I guess it's a race now. Oh shit. That's it? God, this game sucks those big hairy balls. Now we're trying to grab glasses of beer. Whoa, and titties out of fucking nowhere. Anyway, you hold your hand out and you try to grab the beer. Give me a drink bartender and we're back to the race shit again you bastards are for it F for what definitely not for grammar now there's a guy trying to fill up balloons with farts what is this game i know what this game is over i'm done with that shit let's do something else now what the hell is this well whatever it is they did the censoring for me thank you i guess we're gonna push the disco button Ow! I guess because I used to make YouTube poops, I'm cursed to always play games that have extremely loud noises. Miguel Angel Rodriguez Menendez. Man, when this guy signs a check, it must take up the whole check. So this game is called Toy Acid Game? Well, I don't exactly see where the porn comes in. Oh God, please don't let there be porn of this thing. When I was doing the Commodore 64 video, I saw porn of Monty on the run and I never want to see that again. Okay, kids, I have a question for you. How do you think you control this game? Do you control it with the arrow keys? Do you control it with WASD? Put your fingers on the keyboard right now. O is left, P is right, Q is up, and A is down. It's one letter away from Quop. It's Quayop. Now, what are you supposed to do in this game? Well, the game is a metaphor for the subconscious in which the aura of your spiritual being is in constant conflict with the orientation of stars around your astrological sign. This in turn radiates negative energy around the cortex of the guiding light to the soul. The soul forever caught in constant limbo trapped in a metaphysical state where it can neither be truly free or truly enslaved. In layman's terms, this means I don't have a fucking clue. A guy pops up every now and then and I turned myself invisible somehow and I got killed by a spray bottle with legs. I don't know how this is a porn game, but I guess if you're into big round black balls, this is your game. Soft porn adventure. Now we're talking. Oh, it's a text adventure. I hate these things. At least it gives you a cheat sheet at the top that tells you what it reacts to. Well, it reacts to the bartender, so give me a drink bartender. I don't see it here. You literally told me there's a bartender here. Buy beer. You give the bartender $100 and he puts it on the bar. $100 for a beer? What the fuck? They must have found out how to mine crypto with beer. Well, let's drink this expensive ass beer. Hey, 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 this stuff's okay. Drink beer again. I want to see how many times you can drink the beer. Come on, drink the beer. Chug, 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 chug. Well, I guess you can just do it infinitely. Hey, it says there's a button here. Push the button. What's the password? Ufoporno! Wrong? Okay, throw beer. I don't know how to throw something. Fuck. I don't see it here. Okay, fuck beer. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a toilet sits in the corner. Looks dangerous. Okay, flush the toilet. Oh no, it's overflowing! It's filling the room with gross sewage. I'm dead, dead from the germs. <laughs> so I died by flushing a toilet. This is a Sierra game right here. 
Next! This next one might be the lewdest one of all these games. Simusex by Erotic Soft, the official MS-DOS sex simulator. Simusex gives you a variety of different animations to cycle through and you use your mouse to control them. Wait, were flash porn games like this? I guess this is the precursor, huh? I really don't like that this woman kind of looks like Peggy Hill. That is some high grade poon right there, I tell you what. If you're wondering if there's sound on this, yes there is, but do you want it? <coughs> it sounds like you're listening to sex through a CB radio. Breaker, breaker, the storm came in and the little lady got covered in white lightning. Easy come, easy go, I'm gone. Okay, next is Sexcapades. Now, Sexcapades is supposed to be a board game where depending on what spot you land, you have to do a sex thing. <coughs> Oh my god, I lost my hearing! Oh, it's muted, never mind. Oh, that's pretty loud. Okay, I recognize what this is. This is like silent film music, but I'm surprised you can even tell what it is, it being so damn loud. This is the game of sexcapades by Sexy Software. Is this the wife of the impossible mission guy? Stay forever. So the dice rolls, you land on a space, and then it tells you to do a sex thing. And I noticed that this game has a weird fascination with ears. Like the first thing it asks me to do is put my tongue in Dixie's ear. And first of all, I'm like, where? Dixie's ear is huge. And second, I'm like, uh, no, I don't want wax on my tongue, thank you. Then it's Dixie's turn. She moves one spot, and then it tells Dixie to do it to me. I think somebody who made this game might have been an ear fucker. Look that up on E621 if you want to go on an adventure. Then it's Sabrina's turn, and this happened. Oh, baby, what a nice set of tits. I'm going to ruin this for you. According to WebMD, if you wake up and your tits are larger, they may be swelling due to breast cancer. Checkmate, hyper tit fetishists. This game tells me to kiss someone on the neck, but in this video I can't show the neck is not what's being kissed. Have you ever seen an ass like this? Okay, I'm obviously loving this game too much. Again with the ear shit. Now it wants me to blow in her ear? That's not sexy. That's something you do to your cousin to piss them off. I found out I have a cousin that watches my show, by the way. After this episode, he's gonna have a lot of questions about me. Okay, who wants to squeeze my ass? Everybody, Sabrina. Sex Zonix. Demo version. Well, it's nice that the demo gives you titties right away, but it's those 80s titties that look like road cones. So what is this game? It's, oh, it, it's Snake. It's just Snake. Yeah, you uncover the pieces and there's a naked girl behind it. Yeah, the internet is flooded with these. Wait a minute, she's wearing a shirt. She She's not naked. So the girl in the gameplay is not naked, but the girls in the title screen are? Maybe it's because it's the demo, I don't know. But if it's the demo, why give the titties away immediately? Y'all are a little bit too forthcoming with the titties. Everyone knows you have to work for the titty. I never thought I would be upset because somebody gave me titties. Uh, phrasing. Cuntlet, it's gauntlet, but cunt. We've got sperms, we've got trouser snakes, we've got words I can't say. Shooting spermicide has a lesser effect. And this is another one that destroys your ears. There's also vaginas and decapitated penis heads, but I'm not gonna show that shit. This is like if a 10-year-old made gauntlet. Speaking of games that look like they were made by a 10-year-old, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Fuck Quest. It's a DOS game made in 1998. People weren't making DOS games in 98, but this guy didn't stop him. To those of you who say you can't use MS Paint to make a game, I say nay nay. In your drawer, you see your Brad Pitt mask. You've gotten lots of chicks with that thing. Well, let's put it on. Perfect, now you look like Brad Pitt. I had to get on Google and see if there's a Brad Pitt COVID mask. Redbubble did not disappoint. Turn on the TV. Yo, that's hot, bro. You do commissions? The house of porn. Guys, that's not boobs. That's grain silos. And in the house of porn, we have an MS paint dick and a girl sucking this guy's dick. Your penis enlarger and inflatable date are still on back order. Ah, a man of culture. This game was meant to be a parody of all those Sierra games. In fact, it uses the same engine as King's Quest. And I've already told you guys how much I hate point and click games. And just like all those games, I got lost and didn't know what to do. But in this game, game's case that might be the joke. Adult film cameraman, it's just an image viewer. 
Why are you holding that bottle like that? Are you wanting me to grab it and smash it over your head or something? I'll do it. Geisha, more like vapor wave sha. Wait, is that French? Ah, oh, shit. Oui, oui, le commode, le poupou. I am going to put my Eiffel Tower in your baguette. Oh, 60 tail, je pub. What, is this like a mini game with a dick rocket? Oh, that's wonderful. Seriously, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut it off. Whoa, I was not expecting that. What horny furry drew this? And does he take commissions? Brad Stallion in Sex Olympics featuring Dr. Dildo. Okay, they missed a perfect joke to make right here. They should have called the difficulty soft, erect, and hard. Well, the first thing I found is you can take your clothes on and off. Colonel, I took my clothes off. Damn it, Snake. What the fuck? So here's a letter on the floor and I'm trying to open it and read it and this is a very good example of why I hate point and click games. I click use it doesn't do anything so I have to click some of these symbols and assume what they mean. All I want to do is read the freaking envelope. In any other game this would be a one click deal. Oh there's more symbols that's nice. There's a symbol of a screw and a jack. Take a wild guess what they mean. So here's a sentence I thought I'd never say let's try jack it off. You put your mind and hand to the task at hand and jack off. A feeling of great relief washes over you. You wish it would also wash your hands. Maybe it would have been wiser to save those vital body fluids for the ongoing mission. You can see big thruster in the distance. Of course your ship is shaped like a dick. Well apparently you have to refuel the ship and it was out of gas. Thanks for telling me. Because you forgot to refuel big thruster you were forced to ejaculate. Oh shut the fuck up. You can fly around by coming. So I find this tribe of identical women. Take my clothes off, fuck the chick, and then I go back to my ship, but I forgot to put my clothes back on, so I get arrested and thrown in jail for streaking. Wow, that escalated. Playhouse strip poker. It's just, it's, it's poker. That's all it is. You know, I feel like poker games that are just standalone poker games are obsolete now. Like if I want to play poker, I'll play Red Dead 2. Yeah, that's me. I'll download a 115 gigabyte game just to play poker. And fish, because you got to fish. Speaking of which, here's our next game. Ron Jeremy's Ass Fishing. Okay, I'm making that up. Interactive Girls House Guest. Okay, I found a bunch of this kind of game. It's similar to a dating sim, except you're already on the date. Dude, that CRT TV has a bush growing out of it. Get out of the way, bitch. The retro gamers are trying to look at the CRT. Do we have a Trinitron dating sim that you can play on the Trinitron? Do you watch TV? Some, but there isn't much on. Yeah, that's why I quit watching TV. I get all my shit from movie crumbs now. Let's play an erotic PC game. Oh, PC Gameception. Isn't this where we came in? That's what I said, and I pointed at her. <laughs> Do you like my PC? Oh, yeah, nothing gets a woman wetter than a hot PC. Boy, I've got dual CPUs and a 7950. I get all the pussy. Come to my house, I'll show you my mining rig. No miners, though. <laughs> Shit, I don't need a woman. I'm funny all by myself. I love me. I should marry me. Wait a minute. If I divorce me, who gets half my stuff? Where the fuck am I going with this? This is another game like that one. It's called Girlfriend, except this one has an AI. The world's first artificially intelligent virtual woman. Hey, I'm artificially intelligent. I fake being smart all the time. I don't know why they bothered with an AI. It's stupid as fuck. And it might as well be a text adventure because it won't let you have any fun. Like I put, you wanna touch my monkey? It takes forever to process what I said, and then it wants to know what wanna means. So I say, I want to suck your blood, blah. It wants to know what blah means. I tell her blah means fuck. She tells me, what do you want to fuck at this point this game? She thinks you said, I fuck you. What am I, a caveman? Uh, me fuck woman, me get AIDS. Me blame society. That's my favorite thing to do. Wouldn't it be more comfortable lying down? Do it upside down. Do blah upside down. <laughs> what have I done to this game? I want to play you in the b Oh no! <laughs> but I <w> <laughs> I, bl I play you in the boot. <laughs> this woman probably thinks I have a mental condition. What's worse is later on, I just completely confused the AI. It didn't even know what to do with me anymore. You want me to let's do boot? <laughs> okay, I'll do it right now. Cool. Who or what is cool? You. <laughs> Who or what is doing what? Me is doing you. Tell me more. I want to fuck you in the ass, 
damn it! I have taught this woman how to blur in the boot, revealed that I am mentally handicapped, and I still have not fucked this damn woman. And you might think, well, I guess he's just never gonna fuck her. But a dead. Ka oh, ka 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 it, tell me it's cock gobbler. Oh, that's some sweet ad lib music. Holy shit. So, Cobra, Cobra what? Bram, my, is, oh, anime girl? This is a life and death emergency. Young ladies have been disappearing left and right. We need your help. Please hurry. Damn, text, slow down. This text needs to slow down, and the other text needs to speed up. Miss, miss who? C I yon. Cobra mission. Okay, I wouldn't have never guessed that. Wait a damn minute. This actually has a story? And I don't mean like, haha, put my PP in the woman's story. No, this actually has a story story. Oh, nobody told me Dick Tracy was in this game. If there was a game for dick jokes, it'd probably be this one. A telescope. I wonder what's in there. I'll tell you what's in there. Anime titty. Can't show that. Oh no, it's a trap. Who would have guessed? So you wave your mouse over the enemy's portrait, try to hit their head or their body, and it attacks them, and you get experience points and is this an rpg like an actual competent rpg because this is kind of entertaining i will say this the walk cycle is funny as hell so basically some women have gone missing and you gotta find out what happened to them and on the way you'll find rejected marvel character that creepy pedophile from azamanga dio a super punch out character and a girl who can <laughs> which if we've learned anything today is that she has breast cancer. Yeah, attack the boobs for massive damage. I would show you more of this game, but even while using a walkthrough, I still managed to get stuck and don't know where to go. But if it wasn't for the porn, this would probably be a half decent RPG game. So I decided to look this game up and boy, did that open up a rabbit hole I was not ready for. Apparently in Japan, there was a computer called the PC-98. Not a PC with Windows 98, a computer whose name is the PC-98. And what this computer was most infamous for was having a fuck ton of anime titty games made for it. A computer that's famous for porn, only in Japan. Now, why is this important? Well, Cobra Mission was a PC-98 game that got ported to DOS, which is a rare thing to happen to a PC-98 game. But if it wasn't for that, I would have never found it. And I can't can't help but wonder just how good PC-98 games might be. Future episode, we'll talk. And now it's time to end the porn games episode with what I believe might be the most offensive game on this video. It's so offensive, I don't even know if I can show it. So if this video gets taken down, you know why. You've been warned. This is a game somebody made that's called Butt Slam. I'm not gonna read this, and you can see why I'm pretty sure. If you want to read it yourself, you feel free to pause, man. Basically, there are two MS Paint characters. One has a dick, one has a butt. You put them together, and that happens. I hate to defend somebody that would make something like this, but guys, they might have been 11 years old. There's always that possibility it was just a kid. But if it wasn't, this is like the shittiest game that's ever been made. It's offensive, it's stupid, it's not even so bad it's good or shit post material, it's just bad. And Todd is judging you for looking at it. But there is good news though, there is a way we can make this less offensive. Because that horrible story you just saw is a text file. So, using the power of notepad.exe, long, long ago in the days of DOS, some homophobe guy made something that makes Custer's Revenge look like a modern art masterpiece. Whatever you do, don't play this excuse of a game. I could have made this in Game Maker in five minutes and it not be near as offensive. Holy shit, dude. Hit any key to continue. I think I'll hit Alt F4. And that is the porn games video. I hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. I'm probably gonna get in trouble. And it's your fault, but mostly mine because I put that on the poll. What's done is done though. And if this video gets taken down, I will have a Patreon link where you can download this video and watch it for yourself. Also, in case you didn't see on Twitter, we hit our Patreon goal, yay. So instead of seeing you in a month, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Hopefully with something less offensive. Bye.